Hey guys, um, I just wanted to show y'all a quick way, or the quick way that I do my nails when I paint them. Um, I talked about um, a technique that I got from Tiff, um, Makeup by Tiffany, if I'm not mistaken, it's Tiffany D. If not, um, if I if I said it correctly, I will look it up after my after I make this video and I will put it in the description bar be uh, below. But if y'all watch, if y'all have or haven't, y'all should go watch my uh, Walmart haul video that I did. Um, I explained the items that I got. Those are the items that I use when I do my nail polish, and I've done this several times, and it helps me so much from my nails chipping, and it takes them longer. Take, well, I mean, of course, they chip no matter what, but it takes them longer than the couple of days that your nail polish lasts. It takes it a lot much longer for them to chip or to start um, chipping. <laughs> so um, I'm going to show you all the techniques. That I, well, first I'll show you the items I'm going to use, and then step by step I'll show you all how I do my nails. So first, the items that I use are a nail file. Um, it depends on if you have long nails or not. I have long nails because I'm letting them grow out. So I file my nails down to the size that I desire. Y'all can do the same. So I nail them. I nail them. I file them first. That's step number one. Then you um, you can buy one of these at Walmart. And um, it is... Uh, there's four sides. And... Um, you file, you, sh you file, you shape, you smooth, and you shine. There's three, four things. I do this. Um, after I file them, I do this. Then after that, you can get um, a cuticle cutter. Mine is um, a generic one. It's from Trim from Walmart. If y'all watch my video, I explain about this. So then after I, I buff them with the cube, I take off my cuticles. I take off the... It's an extra skin, just when your nails grow out. So I cut that off. Then, um, then that's it. Those are the three things that I do. And of course, before you do all of this, you take off your nail polish. So, I am, this is the nail polish I have right now. It's a gray. Um, I'm going to take off my nail polish with, I just use, a generic Hill Country um, nail polish remover. So I'm gonna take off my nail polish and then I will be back to show y'all what I do next. Hey guys, um, excuse the intro to this video. I know I, I shot that um, on Thursday night before I left to Corpus. Um, I just came back and I'm gonna finish the video. So I'm um, sorry that I did it in two different days, but I'm still gonna go over the same stuff that I said in the intro. Um, I took off all my nail polish that day, I just put a clear coat, but right now I just took off the clear coat because I'm going to paint them a different color. I'm going to paint them this, uh, yellow color by LA, LA Colors, it's a really bright yellow. So I'm going to paint it that color, um, I just took off all my nail polish like I said, and what I'm, what I do next after I take off my nail polish is I buff it out with the cube. Or rectangle, whatever it is, and I start on one. I um, go throughout. I take it takes me about a minute, not even probably less, probably thirty seconds for each finger. So um, I already did all nine except my thumbs because I wanted to do it with y'all, so y'all can see what it looks like. Um, I get number one, and I just it's uh, number one is evening it out. So what I just do is I just go along it. Um, pretty much when I do this, I'm either watching TV or watching videos or doing something because if you don't do anything it's really really boring so I just go along my nail and I just even it out then I, I switch on to um, side two and that is smoothing the nail it doesn't really take that long see how fast it took me you just by the time you know it you're done it's not, it doesn't take that long so you just smooth it out okay and that's it and then number three is um Buffing out the nail, so I'm just gonna buff it. I should have showed y'all what it looked like before. So it looks real dull, you know. After you take off your nail polish, here you, you'll see when I show you after I do this, it looks completely different. You can okay. And uh, number side number four is shining the nail. 
So after you buff it, you shine it so it looks nice and pretty. And after you do this, um, it takes off all the oils off of your nails. So when you paint your nails, they last longer than when if, if you didn't do this. Okay. So that is what it looks like. I know I have like white dust all over it because it's from the thing. But you see how shiny it is? Super shiny. Alright. Now after that I'm going to take my cuticle cutter and what I am just use the same now. What I do is I push back all the skin. Okay, I push back all the skin and I take this and just like that I go along along it and it just cuts off all the dead skin. Just threw it on my computer. Just cut off all the dead skin. And you do that to every nail so that you don't have any more of that dead skin. Okay. Um that's how I did it. It's gonna look exactly like that. No dead skin. Now I'm gonna do the rest of my fingers and I'll be back to um I'll be back with painting nails. Okay, this is the final result of my painted nails, yellow. Um, sorry about the color around my nails. I did it really fast. On my left hand, I have a lot of it because I'm right-handed. So when I paint my left hand, it's I really I mess up a lot. My right my right hand's not that bad because you know I do really good at it. But um. Yeah, that's my final result. That's what it looks like and lasts me. When I do not do this, nail polish lasts me for about two or three days when it starts chipping. When I do this, it lasts me a whole week. And if it doesn't last me a whole week, then if it doesn't last me a whole seven days, it lasts me about five or six days. So almost a whole week. So um, I would like for y'all to try it. If you want to try it, you can see how good this technique does really does work. Um, don't forget to check out my Walmart haul. I list all the items and the prices. Um, and I did get them from Walmart. Um, if y'all have any other t techniques I can try, or if, um, y'all have heard of this technique or have used it before, let me know what your experience was. And, um, I think that's pretty much it. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this. This is just my little technique that I put together and it has really worked for me. So, I hope it works for y'all. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.